Hey guys, what's up? My name is Karen and I honestly can't believe that I'm already making this video. So the day that I'm filming this video, it's January 14th and yesterday, January 13th, was actually the year anniversary of my introduction to booktube video. So I have officially been a part of booktube for one whole year. And honestly, I've had the best time over the past year. I really do feel like I've come a long way from the very awkward introduction video I made with background music and me being extremely uncomfortable on camera and just wasting everybody's time thoroughly describing every single book I read in 2016. So obviously this year I'm not doing that. In order to celebrate my year anniversary on booktube, today's video is going to be the booktube anniversary tag. So this video was originally created by Anne of Book Your Imagination, so I will leave the link to her original video in the description below. And without further ado, I'm just gonna go right ahead and get started on the tag. Question one, what anniversary are you celebrating? I am celebrating my first anniversary as I've mentioned all throughout this video. Question two, what genre or genres does your channel generally focus on? So my channel basically covers a whole mix of genres. Obviously a good chunk of the books tend to be contemporary YA, but a lot of the books that I've done reviews on have been non-fiction, I've covered dystopian fiction, classic literary, just a whole bunch of different things. As I've said right when I started this channel, I'm going to be authentic. If I happen to like books that are the most popular covered on booktube, of course I'll cover them, but I really want to only cover books that I really enjoy or I feel are worth sharing. Question three, what are you most proud of on your channel in the last year? I guess I'm really just proud of how comfortable I've gotten as I've filmed more and more videos. If you watch my earlier videos, it's so obvious how uncomfortable I am on camera, and then moving further down the line, you're able to see me kind of come out of my shell and just be willing to show everybody kind of like my own personal quirks and what I'm actually like as a person. My favorite videos are the ones where you can definitely tell I'm extremely passionate about what I'm talking about. Very early on, I think I came off almost as a little bit like robotic, like I was trying very hard to look comfortable on camera even though I wasn't, but then as I move forward talking about things that I really want to talk about, whether it was serious topics or just TV sh adaptations and books that I really really liked that really comes out and it's so nice to see that I was actually able to make content that you could see just how much I enjoyed doing what I was doing and a lot of people seem to appreciate that. Question four, do you receive ARCs to review? I would absolutely love to receive ARCs to review so if anybody comes across this, hi! Question five, what types of videos do you most like to do on your channel? I think the most videos I've done over the past year have been tags like this, but my most favorite ones to do are actually book hauls and book unboxings. Those ones are just so much fun to do and I love being able to show off all the books I'm really excited to have and just like have like genuine reactions to items on camera when I'm doing my unboxing videos. Those are just so fun. And although they're the more costly videos to do, they are definitely a good time and they're super fun to film. Question six, what types of videos do you like to watch on other people's channels? Obviously I like watching other people's hauls, I love watching other people's unboxings. Anytime anyone wants to have a chat about a really popular topic that's going on in the booktube community, whether it be like a TV adaptation or what everybody's feeling about a book, I like watching those too because I'm always curious about other people's opinions. Or just anytime anyone does a video that's like my favorite books of the year, anything like that. I like seeing what other books people were really interested in, what everybody else enjoys, and seeing if maybe there's other books out there that I'll enjoy, so anything and everything. Question seven, was there anything you tried on your channel last year that didn't work? This is actually a little bit upsetting to me to admit this, but it's become very obvious to me that for whatever reason, people just don't like Canadian books. I did try to do some coverage on Canadian books around Canada Day last year because it was Canada's 150th anniversary, so I figured that would be like a super cute opportunity for that. I, I just don't know what it is. It's like nobody really seems to care about books that come from Canadian authors unless it's like Margaret Atwood or like Robert Munch. So that makes me really sad that 
like whatever coverage I've done of Canadian books didn't really get as much love as some of my other videos, but I guess it is what it is. <laughs> Question eight, is there anything that you've done on your channel last year that you won't continue doing next year? Honestly, background music. <laughs> if you watch any of my earlier videos, you'll see that some of them have really annoying background music and some of it is a little bit too loud. I've learned how to edit a nice video and that that's not necessary for a professional look, so the music will be on for good, I promise you that. Question nine, is there anything that you plan to do more of this year? My answer to this, I'm assuming most people probably answer with what types of videos they wanna do more of this year. But my answer is that I just want to put less pressure on myself. A lot of you probably noticed that for the first half of the year and a bit, I was very good at putting out at least one video a week. And then towards the end of the year, I just got so caught up with life that obviously I stopped doing that. Now that like I'm older, I'm officially like a working woman and I've got like a whole bunch of stuff going on in my personal life. I don't think anybody needs that pressure to try and keep uploading videos once a week or twice a week or whatever you want to do. I definitely want to film videos because I want to film them. So I think I'd put a lot of pressure on myself at the beginning of the year like, oh, there's going to be a book adaptation coming up for this. I should read this book and get the review up or I need to do this type of tag around this certain time and just things like that. And I've just decided like no more. I'm going to read the books I want to read because I want to read them and film all the videos I want to film only because I want to film them. And like, yeah, there's the whole thing about how your channel is only gonna grow if you try to market yourself well. And sometimes that includes doing different tags or doing different reviews or things like that around the time everything is released. But I just don't wanna do that anymore. It's too much pressure. It takes the enjoyment out of things. So I promise that like, even if my videos are less frequent, it's all gonna be stuff I really enjoy doing. And I hope that that will show through to you guys. Question 10, is there anything new that you plan to add to your channel next year? So I'm already thinking ahead about some videos I might like to do just for fun. You guys might have seen that I did a few vlogs towards the end of last year. I am hoping to do a little bit more of those just whenever fun things come up. And I would also like to have some more videos involving people in my life. So my friends and my family, just fun things that we can do together because I think the whole point of having a booktube channel or any YouTube channel is to have fun. And I'd love to get my friends and my family involved in some stuff and be able to just put out some really fun videos for you guys. Question 11, what are some of the challenges you face on your channel? I definitely think some of the challenges that I face, I've said this before, but it's motivation. Obviously, if you're somebody that's brand new and you have very low numbers, people unsubscribing and things like that, it is very hard to stay motivated towards putting up videos all the time if you think people aren't going to be watching them. As I said, like I also had a lot of stuff going on, so it's very hard to stay committed when you're dealing with things like you've got a busy work life and you feel like you have no time for yourself anymore or you're just flat out tired or you're dealing with a lot of personal things and maybe a lot of mental health things as well. I definitely went through a lot of stuff towards the end of the year. There was moving to a new city, there was starting my new job and the pressure of trying to make what was an internship turned into a permanent position. I also had lots of moments where I felt like really lonely and I didn't think I really had any friends or much of a social life down here. And then towards the end of the year, I ended up having one of my friends since the time I was eight years old pass away. And at that point, I just did not feel like doing anything else other than the things I needed to do. But then it was very weird for a while there because things almost started to pick up a little bit and then I realized that maybe booktube is something that I could continue to do to help me feel like I was accomplishing something in my life. So I'm hoping that I can return to this feeling more motivated than I was before. I just want to say though, like for anybody else that's dealing with things like that, I think it's totally okay to feel like you need to take a break or that you might have moments where you feel like it's not really worth it. It's good to remember that something like this should be a hobby. Even if you're not one of the most popular booktubers, what matters is that you enjoy what you're putting out and your audience, no matter how big or small, is enjoying what you do as well. Don't be Logan Paul. That's some good advice. Question 12, what equipment do you use to film your videos? So I use the most basic things to film my videos. 
Every single one of my videos has been filmed on an iPod Touch 6 Gen. It's sitting up on a selfie stick and recently I purchased a selfie light that's clipped onto the end of it to help with lighting when I have to film in the dark. But that is basically all that I use because there's no point in spending money on expensive equipment if you have less than 300 subscribers. Question 13, what is your one best piece of advice you can give to another booktuber? I think the best advice I could give is to just have patience and just be you. I think there's so much pressure to see your numbers go up and there's so much pressure to be like the popular booktubers so that you can be more like them and have the same success as them. But really, the whole point of this is just to have fun, so just be you and in time the people that in will enjoy you for you will find you. And question 14, what is the best part of having a booktube channel? The best part is definitely feeling like you belong to a community of like-minded people. I haven't connected with a whole bunch of people yet, but the best part of this is just feeling like you are interacting with people that like the same things as you and getting to talk to people that really enjoy what you're doing and then you get to see what they're doing and it's just fun to know that there's a part on the internet full of people that are just like you. So I think that's really great. All right guys, so that is it for the booktube anniversary tag. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and feel free to comment down below. And if you'd like to see more bookish videos from me, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and that you hit the little notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I release a new video. I've got some great videos planned coming up so you definitely won't wanna miss those. Again, thank you for watching. As always, spread love and don't be a troll. Bye.